our goal is to continuously level up, to continuously get better, continuously grow. Um, you know, a lot of times we get caught up in just the social media aspect of it and uh, what should I post today? What should I post today? But specifically, I want us to get better at the actual skill. So the best part about what's going to happen today is that I'm giving you a framework that you can take with you and you can use this literally if you're doing any kind of short speech or especially if you're doing anything on social media, right? So I've talked about this in previous, previous sessions, but um, I specifically want to highlight it today because that's what we're going to be working on. All right. So this is what the name of it is. It's called the H and this is going to be the first thing, the H S L method, the H as in Harry S as in Sam L as in Larry method. You're going to take that print. You're going to take that this method with you. Every time you go to social media, what does that stand for? That stands for the hook, story, lesson, method. Hook, story, lesson, method. Hook, hook. Capture attention. One of the things about social media, as we all know, is that it's hard to get attention, right? A lot of us, is we, you know, we, we, we have great content, we have great information, and we wonder, well, why aren't people watching my stuff? Why aren't people looking at what I have? Well, the reason that they're not looking at it, paying attention to it, is not because it's not good. It's just so many other things going on. Right back in the day, you know, when it wasn't when the internet was, was first being known, or even let's take it back to television. You remember, and this is this is for some of my generation X's right here, right? Y'all remember on TV when there was only a couple channels, right? You remember on TV and you had to you had to turn you had to turn that you know even my uh, some of my older millennials, right? You had to use the screwdriver, not the screwdriver, the um the pliers to turn the channel. You had to use the antenna, right? Because there was only a couple channels that was available, right? Well, when there's only five channels that's available, <laughs> well, you know, you're going to pick one of those channels, right? But now with today and with the internet and with social media and Instagram and Facebook and all of that, there's so many different channels. There's so many different stations that if you're not engaging within like the first two, three seconds, they're gone, right? So you have to start. So you have to find ways to hook, right? metaphorically hook people so they want to watch the rest of your content that's what the h is really standing for so what does that look like a hook could start with an engaging question a lot of times if you ever watch any of my videos a lot of times you always see i always open up with a question like 90 percent of the time i open it up with a question have you ever this have you know have you ever wondered why you're struggling in speaking you know are you an entrepreneur or business owner and you wondering why you, you you can't predict your income from month to month? You know, like I'm always like I, I I love starting with a question because it gets people thinking, right? So, but you could start with a question. You could start with a um. You could start with a statistic, which is good. You know, you might say, you might say, uh, I don't know if this is a true true, true um, statistic or not, but you might say, you know, um, thirty percent of all married women uh, or 30 percent of all um um domestic relationships are you know are um are end with abuse right or you it might i don't I have no idea if that's true but you might say something like that and they'll be like oh wow like i didn't know that right or we hear you know uh 90 percent of all businesses within the first five years fail oh right a lot of people heard that like especially if you're in business you heard that before but you you started with something engaging Right. I remember I went to a jail. Uh, I did a speech at a jail one time and I said um, and I told him this crazy statistic. And the statistic was 75 percent of everybody who's released. From jail within the first five years, return back to jail. And that's a that's a fact. That's a true statistic. Right. And, and that everybody was listening. I'm talking about these are these were like these were people who were murderers. These people who did everything under the sun and getting ready to be released back into uh, society. Right. And that was the first thing that I said out of my mouth when I got in front of them for a speech. Right. So specifically, it's great for speeches, too. But it's even but even when you do, you want to do the same thing even while you're online. So start with a hook. OK, start with something that's hooky. That's that's the H. The S story. Jump into a story. Jump into a story that's relatable to your audience. Jump into a story that's relatable to the the, the lessons that you're either getting ready to share or just, just 
start off with something that's that your audience can identify with you don't want to tell a story i remember one time i went to i went to do a speaking engagement and um and i and i went there and i was i was telling this story i was talking my heart out my heart out right and i was i was and i was talking to these um college students actually it was high school students but they were in they were out of college for some function so i so i'm giving it to them i'm I, i'm letting them know my story and my background and you know i uh, you know, I grew up in the hood and I was hiding in the cars for, for shootouts and drug violence and gang activities, prostitution on my block, right? Or like all these things I'm telling them, right? <laughs> this is hilarious. All these things I'm telling them, right? And, um, and I said, if you understand where I'm coming from, I want you to raise your hand, <laughs> right? Show me you. And what I mean to tell you, it was crickets. It was one guy in the background, right? One guy, and he was like, one, like an adult, like, just like chaperoning them right and what like none of the students understood what i was talking about they have like blank stares right now it was a mixed audience probably more caucasian right but it was but i looked out and i'm like it was at that moment that i realized that oh they don't identify with what my story is i told the wrong story you get what i'm saying so you need to make sure that you're telling the story that's relevant to your audience Right. So make sure you say that what that story is. Right. And obviously it got to be related to the topic that you're talking about. So if you're doing multiple videos, let's say if you're doing videos throughout the week, you're going to start with a different topic. Right. Which is going to be a different hook. But make sure that the story matches what the hook is. Right. So that's the S. And then the third, which is the L. The L is the lessons. What are, what is the, what are the lessons that you're going to teach? It might be one lesson for that video, depending on how long your video is, right? It might be three minutes. It might be five minutes. It might be 90 seconds. Whatever, however long it is, you have to decide how, how many lessons you want to give. But you got to teach something. A lot of people, that's, that's where you get a lot of people who are inspirational and motivational. But they don't, but people, people don't know what to do with the information that they just heard because you haven't given them anything to walk away with, anything like tangible. What can you do? That's why we always talk about being practical, right? So that's the HSL method. Talk about the lessons, okay? There's any, now let's pause real quick. Does anybody have any questions on that framework of the HSL method? Are we good on that? We got it? Straightforward? All right, let's get it. All right, so this is what we're going to do today. Let's go ahead and we're gonna jump into we're gonna jump into a couple games. I hope you're ready because we're starting off with the HSL method, right? And everybody here is gonna participate in this. Okay, so I hope you're ready because you're gonna be doing this. And remember, we we're gonna act like we're really out doing a video, or or even if you act like you want doing a speech and you don't you don't get do-overs, right? Because we have a certain amount of time. You know, we only really got an hour together. I try not to go over the hour, but we'll see, right? But we, so you got one minute, okay? And don't worry about if you mess up or if you stutter or if you do whatever. Just keep going, keep going, because we still got two other games that we're gonna play. All right. So this is this is how we're gonna do it. I need you to remember the order that um that I mentioned you in, okay? So this is gonna be the order. Andre, Cassie, Gamal, Kev, number four, Jenny. I want you to pay attention to your weakness. So real quick, I want everybody to go around and I want you to say specifically, what's the biggest challenge for you in speaking? And this is not take 60 seconds to answer this question. I need you to give me one or two word answers. What do you, what, what's the biggest challenge for you right now that you need to improve on? Okay, let's start off with you, Dre. What's the biggest challenge for you in speaking? to get the thoughts that I think to come out of my mouth the way I mean them to. Okay, clear, being clear and concise. Being very clear, yep. Cassie, what's your biggest challenge in speaking? Quick. Uh, choosing a topic. Okay, topic. Good, Good more. Biggest challenge in speaking. Keep, keep it uh, flow consistent. Okay, consistent, keep consistent flowing, not stopping, not pausing and doing all of that. Okay, Kev. Organization of thoughts. Organization of thoughts. Tanisha. Uh, getting the words to flow out the way that I think of them. And also like the shakiness in my voice. There you go. Okay, good. Uh, who's next? Who's, who's after that? Go ahead, Austin. <laughs> For me, it's uh, overall clarity. 
Overall clarity. Love it. Who's next? Who's after Austin? We're speakers. Like, this is what we do. Like, this is literally what we do. And, and I wanted us to get out of our comfort zone. And I want us to do this more often. Right? And, and you know, whether we do it on a call, every so often, I'll throw one of these on a call. And then I'll be like, listen, we're doing another speaker, draw another speaker practice, and we'll mix it up with different games and do different things. Because this industry really should be fun. Right? What we do, like, this is fun. This is exciting. Like, we have we, we're out, we're helping people, we're changing lives, and we get to we get to tell things, we get to say things we want, we get to like have people laugh and smile and joke and be deep in thought and thankful and reflect on their life. So this is really fun, you know. So look at it that way. Enjoy and like enjoy this industry. Right. So I'm glad this was super, super helpful. So I really want us to polish up our um our stories. I want us to polish up the lessons, make sure that we clear on the lessons that we're giving. Oh, 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 oh,